say this forest is a great place to hunt. It's teeming with grouse. If you haven't got a bow, you should get yourself one and try your hands at hunting. The bard, having slain the random wolf, found that it had digested not only the contents of a small treasury, but also various household goods. Well, wait, am I, am I reading that correctly? This can't be right. You'd be surprised. I find all kinds of things inside these beasties. Do I ever tell you about the time I killed this rat and out popped an entire chest? Well, I'm just going to skip those passages in the future. What? That's a major source of income, you cheap good-for-nothing horses. <clears throat> And so, the bard continued on his journey. Hold back. Attack. Stay where you are. Over here.
common rat. I am referring, of course, to the animal and not the bard. A common rat. I am referring, of course, to the animal and not the bard. Although fragile, the thunder spider could destroy most foes with a steady stream of lightning long before they were able to retaliate. A common rat. I am referring, of course, to the animal. Charge! 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 Attack! The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. Rhythm allows the bard to play magical tunes with greater skill enhancing the statistics of summoned creatures. Shopkeepers will offer significant discounts to the bard if he has high charisma. Well now, who have we here, eh? You must be the fella who's been chasing all over, putting the touch on the locals with that shocking beast of yours. You must be Banafee. 
I've been sent here about a tune you might be willing to part with. Now, it just so happens that I don't know a wee song, and if you do me a little favour, I might be willing to part with it. All right, let's hear this favour, then. I've got a friend in the forest jail by the name of Kettle Swat. Spring him free for me, and you'll get your song. You don't have to worry about any guards at the jail. They've been chased off by the Kunal Trow. I can't help you with their patrols, but you can get through the door with only a password. You'll need to say Fiddle Snuff to the Kunal Trow guarding the door to be let in. So, just get him out and then come back here and I'll teach you some magic. Fair enough? Done. Just have that song for me when I get back. I'm no man's errand boy. To show my goodwill, I've even opened up a quick way back to town for you. It's right over there. Well now, you must be the bard that everyone's been talking about, the fellow with the spider made of lightning. It's honoured I am to have you in my shop, sir, and happy to facilitate all your arms and armament needs. Swords, bows, or armour, everything here is first rate and for sale. Terms of cash in advance, in full, all sales final, with no letters of credit, layaways, or IOUs. We do have a buyback policy, if you buy it, don't bring it back, haha. -ha. So look over what you want, and I'll be happy to cover the finer points of any item I have in stock, but remember the golden rule, you break it, you buy it. I'd like to see your bows. If you ask me, there's no better place to battle a deadly foe than from a distance. The more you spend on this ranged weaponry will not only put you further from your enemy, but also further from your own tombstone. Interesting. You're looking to drop them from a distance? That's a long bow. These are the finest kiln-dried white ash bows from the weapon shops of Kirkwall, the choice of Sylvan assassins and until recently banned in four provinces. Pulls preset to 50 pounds and guaranteed to put a four-ounce shaft through a two-inch plank from 50 paces. Believe me, these babies pack a punch that your enemies will not forget, and they're definitely worth every last bit of silver that I'm asking. Excellent choice, my friend, for the long bow is often the key to a long life. Use it in good health. I'm intrigued. Peeking at my map, are you? I can tell you this much. It's as old as the hills and chock full of danger and delight. The fellow I had it from said there's plenty of frights to make things hot. Plenty of X's marking the spot. What else you got? Show me your swords and flails. This is where we have our close combat weaponry. When you're battling a foe up close and personal, you don't want to skimp on your instrument of battle. In most cases, not the best man, but the best weapon walks away to tell the tale. Interesting. Now here's a piece of hurt that'll let you swagger down any street and never want for safety. The Claymore, or as I like to call it, the Emperor of Evisceration. It's three cubits long with three quarter length parallel fullers, a barrel cut two handed grip, and balanced at the hilt for better leverage and short cuts or long swings. This weapon definitely covers a lot of ground and what it lacks in speed it more than makes up for in pure stopping power. Now it just so happens that due to a slight accounting error I'm overstocked on this particular item so I'd be willing to let one go for a ridiculous price. Not interested. 
Can you tell me about this? Ah, the mighty flail. Six pounds of pain on a chain with a quarter sawn hexagonal hickory shaft and a jointed head of drop forged iron that's been tempered in the ice cold blood of captured Finn folk. Tricky to wheel, but score a hit and it will crush armor and break bones, and I'm willing to let you have it for a pittance. What else you got? Ah, interesting. Like to do some fancy dual weapon fighting, then you've got to have a dirk. This one comes straight from Finstown and features a fully full of ricasso and ring guard for precise blade control. A thrust through the visor or chink in the armor and I guarantee your man is going down. Now that kind of weapon doesn't come cheap, but I'd be happy to sell you this particular item for a first rate price. What else you got? Not interested. I could use some protection. It's a fact. A warrior's only as tough as his weakest armor. Plenty of folks have bought the cheap stuff, but none of them have been repeat customers, if you take my meaning. Hmm, I'm intrigued. My armor's some of the best. Diabod hide, butterfly skin, double cured with adjustable suede straps and cast iron buckles. Tough enough to take a hit, but light enough to keep you fast. I'd be willing to part with this item for a very reasonable price. What else you got? Well, interesting. Now you're talking leather armor. Reinforced with hammer-forged iron studding and all-weather bronze buckles cast by the sea folk of the western shores. Like all my leathers, it's fully articulated for comfort and ease of movement and will keep you standing when others leave you bleeding. So it's well worth my one-time profit shaving price. Not interested. Let me see something else. Skip it. I cannot talk. <laughs> I cannot talk to you, right? You've come looking for my bow, Ogun, haven't you? Of course you have. But it's gone he is, for he's the one. The chosen one, who free the fair princess from cruel bondage. And what do ye suppose that means to a poor old woman like me? Why? Everything, that's what. For he's promised to come back, my Ogun, and take me away from this awful place and give me a proper house, with glass in the windows, floors of wood, and a larder so full we'll never know hunger again. So... When you see him, tell him his mother loves him. Don't go near Sheriff Rookie. Excuse me.
Charge! to hurt. The stronger the Bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. Rhythm allows the Bard to play magical tunes with greater skill, enhancing the statistics of summoned creatures. Luck has a subtle effect on many aspects of the Bard's adventures. Shopkeepers will offer significant discounts to the Bard if he has high charisma. Allows the Bard to equip and use two-handed weapons. 
gives the bard a chance to score a critical hit on his enemies, inflicting additional damage. Allows the bard to fight with a dirk in one hand and a sword in the other. Allows the bard to equip and use two-handed weapons. What's the password? Fiddlesnuff. So, Benefit must have... Hey, who are you? You aren't supposed to be here! Which one of you bloody heathens is Kettle Swart? Banafeet sent me here to set you free. I'm Kettle Swart. No, he's not. I'm Kettle Swart. Like hell, I'm Kettle Swart. To hell with them. I'm Kettle. What's it matter which one of us is Kettle? Set us all free. We'll never convince you which one of us are telling the truth, so just flip those switches in the order I tell you, and it will open the doors. Yes, the sheriff has these doors rigged with some bizarre six-switch combination lock that only he's supposed to know. But we've been watching closely, and we know the order to flip them. Already I've been reduced to flipping switches by order criminals. Great. No, 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 no. Pull that one. Pull that, pull pull that one. No, 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 no. Pull that one. Pull that, one. Pull that one. No, not that one. It might be that Pull one. Pull that one. Pull that one. It might be that one. No, not that one. 
No, not that one. Nothing, that's ah. it. No, not that one. one. It might be that Pull one. Pull that one. Pull that one. It might be that one. No, not that one. No, not that one. Nothing, that's ah. it. Oh, no, not that one. Hmm. It might be that no, one. No, not that one. Pull that one. Oh, I think so. Try switch one. Yes, yes. Pull that one. No, that won't help. It might be that no, one. No, no, no. Yes, that's the one. I think that's the no, one. No, that isn't it. Oh, not that one. Hmm. It might be that no, one. No, the last one is lever three. Oh, no, not that one. That might there you it. go. Pull it and let us free. What's wrong with you? We told you exactly what to do. Do you want us to draw you a picture? Yeah, sure. You draw me a picture, I'll draw your blood. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't aggravate him. Pull that one! Pull that one! No, no, no! No, 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 no! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Pull that one! Pull that one! Pull that one! It might be that one. No, not that one! It might be that one. No, not that one. Nothing. That's it. Pull that one. It might be that one. Pull that one. Oh, I think so. Try switch one. Oh no, not that one. Hmm. It might be that one. No, that won't help. Hmm. It might be that one. Pull that one. Oh, I think so. Try switch one. No, that won't help. Uh, that doesn't seem right. No, that won't help. Uh, that doesn't seem right. Yes, that's the one. I think that's the one. That's the one. That's it. Oh, no, it isn't. Try another. Oh, no, not that one. That might be it. No, not that one. Hmm. It might be that one. That's the one. That's it. Oh, no, it isn't. Try another. See how easy that was? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, haven't had this much fun since I was almost barbecued by a giant rat. I don't know why you did this, but I'm most thankful. It's a long story. Maybe you'd like to have a seat while I tell you about it. In the middle of a Coonal trowel infested jail. Let's get out of here before I regret what I've done. More than I already do.
Attack!
Thank you. I wagered Sheriff Rocky that Kettle wouldn't be locked up for more than a day. I sent the Kunal Trout to free him, but they decided to take over the jail and claim it as their own. I thought for sure I'd lose, but now you come along and win the bet for me. Well, a deal's a deal. So, here's your song. Target. The heroine was deadly accurate with a crossbow and quite nimble in battle. The equal of most any man in combat. Worth about ten men of the bard's type. 